to another video and as I mentioned in my previous meal planning video which if you haven't seen I'll leave link down below um, I decided to do a Sainsbury shop and it's a budget one to feed your family for the week for £60 and um, obviously for £60 there aren't as many kind of sort of treats and luxury items but I wanted just to kind of do a video to show you if you have got a really tight budget that you can still cook home you know cook from scratch meals for your family for 60 pounds and get some healthy snacks and stuff as well um so hopefully it will be helpful and my poll kind of showed that some people like the really budget ones at like 60 pound and some people kind of spend like 90 pound plus um for a family and obviously ours normally comes in at over 100 so um yeah it was quite a fun little challenge to do um so i'll spin you around and show you what i've got i'll put all the prices on for everything um and then i'll give you a total price at the end but then i'll also try and price up how much just the seven dinners would cost you in case you don't have children um to buy like snacks and stuff for or you know this that, and the other so i'll try and price up the um meal bit as well as as best as i can um i hope you enjoy it let me know your thoughts below whether you think it's a good amount for your money or um you know if there's any tweaks you think i could have made you know um chat to me down below i upload every week and it's usually a grocery haul meal planning um meals of the week recipes that kind of thing so if you like kind of budget food for your family don't forget to subscribe and i will spin you around and show you what i grabbed from sainsbury's okay so as always i will start with the fruit and veg so i've got a bag of the stamford street mini apples archie normally takes one of those every day for his snack and then um i usually have a banana so i've got a big bunch of these loose bananas um, and then I've got a punnet of strawberries. They still look nice. Obviously, they're coming out of season now, but they are from Hampshire. So just down the road um, and they look really nice. Um, and then also I've got some British raspberries from Kent. So nice. Um, obviously, they'll be going out of season soon, which Henry will be very sad about because he loves berries. Um, so that's what I got in the line of fruit. And then I've got loads of fresh veggies. So I've got a big bag of carrots. Um, I've got some mushrooms. Got a bag of the mixed sweet peppers. I don't bother buying the cheap ones because nobody likes the green. So it's a false economy, really. We all like the sweet ones. Um, two loose red onions. I do also have some onions that I froze because I had a big bag and they were going off. So I chopped them all up and froze them. So I've got two here, which will be, should be enough for the dinners. Um, but obviously I will use some from the freezer if I run out. So you may well need to get like three or four onions if um, you don't have any anything left over or any in the freezer. Um, a large cucumber, which we use for sandwiches, salads and on the sides of like dinners and lunches. Um, our usual head of broccoli, you know by now I love my broccoli and carrots. And then two bags of baking potatoes. Quite a few dishes are using potatoes and also I do like a jacket potato for lunch as well. Um, which is a real like budget friendly one if you have a jacket potato with some cheese or beans and um, salad or whatever. So I've got two bags of those. And then some more fresh bits. I just got a four pint of blue milk for cereal, tea and coffee. Got the boys some apple juice. It works out a lot cheaper to buy a carton of juice than it does the smoothies. Um, and unless you buy the innocent smoothies and things like that, that are like basically just fruit. The cheaper ones, like the Hello Monkey ones, if you look at the ingredients, have actually got quite a lot of juice in, not crushed fruit. So um, it may be better to buy juice. Obviously, this one's from Concentrate. I would normally buy the fresh pressed, but in the name of doing this on a slightly um, less budget, um, I've gone for the Concentrate one. And then I've got Yanis, his um, vanilla oat milk for his coffee and porridge. Um, that was on offer for 140 so that was quite a good price. So I got that. Um, Yanis and Henry really like their yogurt in the morning, so I've got them some of the Greek style natural yogurt. Again, this is a sli slightly cheaper one. Um, I sometimes buy the organic one from Ocado, 
but this is only £1.10 um, and still healthy if you have it with some honey and some berries. Got the boys some pots of joy for pudding because although we're on a budget, you still got to have a little pudding every now and then. So they've got a pack of those for them to share. Uh, got some cheese strings for Henry's lunch. Again, these work out more expensive than just using normal cheese, but um, he requested them for his pack lunch. So, um, yeah, cheese, you know, obviously it's probably more processed than um, normal cheese, um, but it is cheese nonetheless, just basically cheese and vitamins, paprika. So um, some of those... Cathedral City cheese, I normally buy Sainsbury's own, but this was actually cheaper because it was on a nectar price, so it's always worth looking at the offers. So I've got that one. Just a garlic baguette to have on the side of a pasta dish. We just have one baguette and we share it between four of us, so we only have sort of a couple of pieces each, so it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, we just have a couple of little slices of that on the side. Um, and then on to the meat, I've got a pack of 12 sausages, which is going to do two dinners. Um, so I'm going to split that in half. Obviously, there's four of us, so is six sausages each, but I'm going to bulk it out with veggies for different recipes. So I've got those, and these are the British pork ones. Obviously, if your budget is even tighter, you can get the cheaper ones, but they don't have as much meat in, and they do have lots of other things added in. So weigh up how much you've got in your budget um and get what you can and then i've got a big pack of pork mints like i've mentioned before pork is cheaper than beef so i will use half um of one of this is 750 grams i will use half of that per meal and bulk it out with veg so that's going to do us two dinners so that's four dinners straight away um i've got some chicken breast um diced up chicken breast obviously you could get thigh um, but this was a good price and I'm actually using it for skewers, which is why I've bought the diced one um, because, I mean, obviously I do normally chop my own chicken breasts up, but that was um, on offer. So it worked out as cheap as buying a normal pack of chicken breasts. So I've got that. And then I've got a gammon joint here and I've got a slightly bigger one. It's over a kilogram because I'm going to do roast gammon and then the leftover ham I'm going to use for another dinner. So I've got a bigger one of those. So um, that's two, four, six, seven dinners there. And then I've got some bacon for bacon sandwiches at the weekend. Or Yana sometimes has bacon and egg on toast um, or muffins or whatever. So um, I've got some bacon. And then the cupboardy bits, I've got a passata and I've got it with basil just because it adds a bit of extra flavour um, rather than just like the plain one. So I've got one with basil. I've got some mixed beans in mild chilli sauce, um, a tin of baked beans for a dinner, a tin of peaches for the boys to have for pudding. And then these are a really good price. So I've got paprika and garlic granules. I wanted to include the seasonings because obviously some people wouldn't have those in the cupboard. Um, so I wanted to include those in the budget. And some beef stock. I did order the four pack um, and they've subbed it for an eight pack. So I'll put on the screen how much it would have been if I'd have got the four. I think it was £1.25. Um, so that's what I paid for these. Um, but obviously I've got four free, so that's good. I've got a couple of squashes. So I've got a summer fruit um, and barley and a fruit blend, which is mango, passion fruit and peach. We normally just drink some squash. I do a big jug um, of squash at dinner time <clears throat> because I find if you make a jug and use it, you actually use less squash than the boys just sloshing like half a bottle of squash in each cup. So I normally make a big jug and we have that for dinner and then obviously use it up after dinner. Um, so I've got two of those. I've got some cornflakes for breakfast. Got some lightly seeded bread. This is a really good price and there's no emulsifiers or anything added to that one. Um, so we have that for sandwiches and toast. Got the boys a fruit loaf because they said they would like some fruit bread for breakfast. So they often have that. Um, with some butter on and then have some fruit and yogurt on the side. 
got some Warburton sandwich thins. Again, these aren't the cheapest way. Obviously, bread is cheaper, but Henry likes to take these for his lunch. Um, and I would rather he had the brown ones, but he doesn't really like the brown ones. So um, I'm giving him the white ones. Um, these rice cakes, I ordered the Sainsbury's own ones, which were 75p, and they've subbed them for the organic. So I think these are 150 a bag, um, but I paid what 75p. So um, try and get the supermarket own ones if you can. They're half the price, but um, obviously they've subbed those, so I, I only paid 75p. Um, Got some Kit Kats for the boys for um, lunch boxes and treats. They're the white ones. You really feel like you're getting a, uh, what's the phrase? A bang for your buck. Is that the phrase? Um, when you have the white ones, they're really chocolatey. So I've got those. Um, before I forget, I've also got some white rice for dinners and some spaghetti for dinner. And then um, the boys have got some of these bare fruit splits. Um, you get like two sort of strips in there. So they'll take those for a snack as well. Um, and then the freezer items, I've got some of the fruit dairy splits for the boys. Um, so they'll have more than enough puddings. They've got the fruit splits, the pots of joy and the tin peaches. So that's a nice little after dinner treat. Um, they do only get their pudding if they've kind of eaten enough of their dinner. Um, because otherwise I find like... Henry in particular would maybe leave some dinner and want a snack and pudding and stuff. So um, they have to eat their dinner, um, but then they get a pudding. Um, and then we've got 15 Yorkshire puddings. These are just the Stamford Street frozen ones and a bag of the mixed veg. Um, and you get like carrots, peas, cauliflower, green beans in there. So I'm going to use that for a dinner. And obviously if there's any left, we can have it on the side of other dinners. So that is everything I grabbed, um, and I think that is a really good amount for £60. Um, just got to be a little bit savvy, and like I mentioned in my meal plan, if you buy things that use the same ingredients, you can kind of double up, and that reduces the amount of meat and stuff you buy. Um, obviously, if you wanted to up the budget, but still follow the recipes, you could swap these out for like free range or organic um meat and obviously that would be a little bit more expensive but entirely up to you but i hope that helps if you are on a 60 pound budget for a family to see that you can get quite a lot of fruit and veg and fresh meat and healthy snacks excluding the kit kats and the ice creams obviously um don't know if i said cornflakes but i've got cornflakes there as well um so I'll pop the total price on the screen for you. And it was about £60 just over. Um, and then I will try and also just price up the dinner items. Um, and maybe I'll pop that on when I show you the meal plan. Um, so I'll just pop it all away. And then I will show you the meal plan and the cost for the dinners. Okay, and here's a look at our meal plan. So today's Thursday and I'm going to do a sausage chilli with rice. So I'm going to use some of my veggies and the mixed beans, um, some tomato puree and probably a stock pot and do like a sausage chilli and serve it with rice. Friday I'm going to do chicken skewers. So I'm going to do chicken and season it with the garlic and paprika and um, skewer it with some onion, pepper and mushrooms and serve that with some wedges. Saturday, I'm going to do a spaghetti bolognese with the pork mince and the basil passata and serve it with spaghetti, obviously, and garlic bread. Sunday is our usual roast and I'm gonna do roast gammon with um, Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes, veg, gravy, and keep some gammon left over for Monday. And we're gonna have ham, egg, chips, and beans. I didn't buy any eggs because um, our neighbour very kindly gave us loads of eggs from their chickens. Um, but if you wanted, I think it's £1.30 for a box of eggs. Um, so if you eat eggs and you'd want eggs with it, you need to add those on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use up the gammon for that. And then Tuesday, I'm going to do sausage casserole with veggies, potatoes um, and seasonings and the stock pot. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm going to do cottage pie with the other half of the mince, some of those frozen mixed veggies and some gravy, mashed potato and any extra veggies I've got left over on the side. So that's our meal plan. 
Um, and then I've just put here some ideas. So breakfast, we'll be having cereal. I've got the cornflakes, but also I do have some other cereals in the cupboard. Um, toast, fruit bread, fruit and yogurt. And then lunches. Um, obviously, Henry takes packed lunch. Archie has hot lunch at school. Um, and I will be having like sandwiches, toasties, jacket potatoes and like plowmans with cheese um, and bread and butter and like cucumber, carrot, those kind of things any pickles and whatever I've got in the fridge. Um, so that's our meal plan. I'm going to pop the price on the screen now, roughly for how much I think the seven meals came to. Um, obviously, I'll include the seasonings and the stock pots and whatever, because you'd need to buy those, um, although you may have them in the cupboard. But I wanted to include them in case people don't have much in the line of their store cupboard. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you really soon in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.